Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And barn door treasures on eBay and Digital Diane Designs on Etsy for digitals only. And I am back today working in our flip-flop journal and we're going to finish covering the base of the flip-flop journal. And if we have time, um, then we'll work on the front. Um, so we'll just see how far we get, but let's just go ahead and get started and I'm going to scoot these over and we are here in our journal. And so, um, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this. But the first thing I need to work on is this little window because I've picked a picture that I want to go in the window and it's this one here. How pretty is that? This is from Ruby and Pearl XO. And I will link her in the description box below. Um, a, a lot. The majority <laughs> of the digitals that I'm using in this project are from Ruby and Pearl. So, um, I've just, she just, thank you, Heather, for your beautiful digitals. They are just wonderful. So, um, I, I would like to have her in this window. Okay. So if we fold it over and we put her in the window, well, then we can't see the whole image, right? So I have a solution for that. This little piece of plastic is one piece, which works wonderful for me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to very carefully, if I can get it, let's see if I can try on this corner. I'm going to very carefully... Now, I haven't done this before, so we're going to see how this is going to work. Hopefully, it works the way I want it to. Um, I'm just going to pull the plastic off of the window. And I'm going to try and do so. Ooh, that might not work because my plastic is tearing. See that? Hmm. Okay, we might need to rethink that. Let me put a little piece of or a little bit of glue on there to glue that plastic back down because I don't want it to tear any further. Well, it was a good thought anyway, right? Let's see what it looks like from this side. It's not too awful bad. See, I wanted to take this piece off and get rid of it. But I don't think I'm going to be able to because it's glued really good. So, with that being said, what we'll have to do is we'll just have to cover up this window in collage. Uh, because you'll still get the crinkle of the window. You'll still be able to hear that. Um, kind of like you do over here. Um, but it's just not going to look right. And I want, I want her there. So, we'll just collage over it. And that way we can we can get her in there. All right. So let's see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just start right here since we're just gonna collage over the whole page and not worry about the window. Then we're just gonna go ahead and get this covered. Okay. So let me grab my papers. Okay. So I've picked some papers that I thought we might can use on the base, and I think. Right here, I think I want to use this ledger, and I think I want to kind of turn it sideways so that it goes up this way a little, like that, and then we can collage something up there. Um, so I'm just going to start there, and we're just going to play and go until we can't go anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue. Where's my glue page? Here we go. Here's my big glue page. That keeps the the glue off my filming mat, um, which is getting dirty. I bought an extra mat to film on, you know, to use just while I'm filming. Thinking because my mat that's underneath this one, <laughs> boy howdy, it is so well loved. Let me just put it that way. It <laughs> it's a mess. So I bought a different one to use when I'm filming so that I don't gross y'all out. <laughs> Is that one's in pretty rough shape. Okay. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to bring this one kind of right here. Like so. I'm just going to rub that in. Let's get these out of the way. 
And then I don't know if I want all of this on here. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna leave it for now, and we can play with it and decide. But then I want something up here, collage on up here. Let's see what I've got over here. Um, well, I have this ledger. That's a pretty ledger. This is a pretty vintage ledger. Oh, gosh, which side would I use? See, that's, that's the hardest part. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the hardest part about using vintage ledger is, I mean, both sides are so pretty. How can you choose between the two? So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to scan it. And then I have both sides. Hang on. Okay, and after I went through all the trouble of scanning it, I changed my mind because I have ledger here and I don't want ledger there too. So, <laughs> we're going to do something different up here. So, I think I want some vintage um, book page up here. So, I think that's what we're going to do up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some glue up here because I let my glue that was already up there dry. Okay, and so we're just going to lay this right in here and I kind of want this edge of the book page on here for a reason and I'll show you why in just a second okay and then I'm going to go ahead and glue this little piece here I'm going to go ahead and glue it down and get it out of our way now that we know we want that under there so we'll go ahead and glue that down okay and then I'm going to turn this over Hold that over and just tear it off okay and it doesn't matter if it's sticking up over because I don't mind that all right and then I'm gonna tear that piece off because we don't need that and then here um, these I have these these are little pieces you know when you use a napkin to decoupage with and you take the back so the napkins off well, I took those backs and I ran them through, can you see? I ran them through my embossing machine. And so I just kind of embossed them. And I thought it might be fun. That one's folded, so it might not work real well. But I thought it might be fun to put a little piece of that on here. So let's just see what looks good. And I don't want a perfectly straight edge. So I think what I'm going to do, you see this little... um swirl here i think that's the 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 swirl that i want to keep so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna tear around that little swirl okay I've not used this like this before, so I'm just kind of playing. And I think uh, I should have waited to glue this down. So I'm just going to pull it back up because it's not good and set yet. So I'm just going to pull that up a little because I want this to go up under there. Like that. I think I'm going to like that. This is driving me crazy, so I'm just going to tear it off. I don't like the straight edge. That's what's giving me problems. So I'm just going to tear that off, and I don't know that I'm going to like the straight edge up here. However, if I go straight up to the edge of the page, then that lines up pretty good. So I think I can deal with that. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. And instead of gluing on the napkin... I'm going to glue directly on the page because if I glue on the napkin, it's going to smush out my, or I'm afraid it will smush out my embossing. I don't know that it will, but I don't want it to, so I'm going to take precautions to make sure that it doesn't. Okay, so we're just going to glue here on the page. I'm going to lay my napkin in here. I hope I'm in frame so y'all can even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad about that. I just get my little world in here. Okay. There we go. 
And then I'm just going to put a little more glue. Whoops. Okay, now see that's coming apart, but I'm okay with that. I might need to... Hmm, my layers are coming apart. Okay, so since they're coming apart, I'm just going to put a little glue on it. And make sure it stays. See how that smushes out the embossing on there, though? So I want to be careful with that. Okay, so if I smush that down... I don't know. This is the first time I've played with these like this, so, hey, it never hurts to try something. If it don't work, do something else. But I kind of like how that turned out. So we're just going to leave that there for now. Okay. And then we're going to keep going. Lord of mercy. I'm already 10 minutes in and acting crazy. All right, I think I do want to kind of I want something else over here. I don't want this to go all the way across. So, I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to fold it up completely, but I'm just going to kind of smash it up right there because I want something different over here. And I think I want this because I think this is really pretty. And it goes with the pinks and greens and reds because that's kind of the theme in the journals. Pinks and greens and reds. So, I am going to tear this right here. I'm just going to pull at it and get what I get and get it out of my way because it's hindering me now. <laughs> there we go. I like that. Yes, I like that. And I think I'm just going to sit that whole thing down right there because I like the way it looks. Okay. Or... I know y'all are probably like, oh, Lord, I am. Just do it. I really think I'd like to move it up a little and put some music down here. Wouldn't that be pretty? What do y'all think? Let me find my music. Okay, got my music. So we're going to go ahead and put this page down. And it's not going to matter that this is not even over here because we're going to fix that. It's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead... And slide this right up underneath my ledger here just like that and I already put the glue down so we're glued okay and then this piece is showing just a little bit right here can y'all see that so I'm gonna put this piece Kind of right there in a minute um but we need to figure out how we want our music to go down and i need a little bit more glue down here because i know i want that to go ahead and lay down okay there we go and then i think it'll be pretty with our music like that and I kind of don't want, um, I, I want a jagged edge on my music. So I'm just going to tear a piece like that. I don't need this much on here. Okay, so if I do it like that, that'll be pretty. Okay, let's just do it. I need to scoop that up just a hair so that it's covering that. However, hmm, there's one other thing I want to add. Let's see, I have some real pretty
embossed pieces. I don't want it to be too much. Okay, that's not that's not fitting right. I gotta have something a little bit longer. Let's try this. This is a little bit longer. So if I tear this way on this, and then I'm just going to kind of tear it right down through there, and I'm not going to throw that away because I can use that. And as you can see, this was a misprint, and so I just embossed the other side. This is just cardstock that I embossed so that I didn't have to waste it. Okay, I think I like that right there. All right. Now, I usually like to use art glitter glue on my embossing because it's a wet glue and it can get down in the grooves. And it just makes me feel better because I just feel like it'll hold it better because it will get down in the grooves versus the glue stick just kind of sits, sits on top of the grooves. I know, I'm weird. But it's how my brain processes that thought. Okay. So I'm just going to slide that right in there. And I just want to rough up my edges some because I don't want them perfect. Just like that. And then I want to rough up my edges on my music paper a little because I don't want them perfect either. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of my art glitter glue. And I'm just going to kind of go up under the edge of this music because it's not all the way down. So we're just going to go right up under there with it, just like that, to make sure we're glued in good. Okay, and then we're going to bring our glue stick back in and glue down our ledger over here. And I'm not worried too much about the ledger on the emboss piece. It'll be okay. Alright, and then we're going to put this piece down. Right here. Just so it covers that one little spot that was kind of exposed. Okay. So it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like until you get all the extras torn away. So that's what we're going to do real quick. I'm just going to lay that right there for now. Give me a little bit more room to work here. So I'm going to flip this over. Glued my music to my glue page. And I'm just going to fold this over. Like that. And then just tear this off. Whoops. Well, I didn't tear that too good, did I? I don't care if it sticks up a little bit. I, I actually like that. So, we're going to, oh, shoot. Now, see what I did. I'm trying to be smart. That's okay. We'll put something pretty there. Um, What do we have pretty that we can put there to cover up my boo-boo? I made a boo-boo. Nope. Oh, I know. Isn't that a pretty piece? Let's put that there. I'm just going to fold it and tear it. Just like that. And we'll put him right there. But first, before I put him there. See? So if you mess up, you can always fix it. I'm going to go ahead and fold my music up. And get rid of the excess down here at the bottom. Okay. 
Okay, and then I have the excess here. Now, remember I told you not to worry about these jagged edges because we were going to fix that? Well, that, that's what we're fixing to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this over like this, and I'm just going to fold this over real neat and pretty so that we can have a pretty edge right here on the edge of our envelope. And then you'll never be able to know that that was a jagged edge. See? Just like that. Turns out pretty. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and go ahead and glue this down. Get my glue page back over here. And there we go. Okay. So now we have our, our whole inside is done. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for just a minute so that we can make sure that it's not going to come up on us. And then we'll go to the back side. Okay, now we are ready to do our folds. So I'm just going to put my ruler in there so I get a good straight fold. I'm just going to burnish that down a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and find the fold over here. It's right there. There we go. I'm going to get my bone folder this time because that um, embossed paper is a little bit thicker. And it don't fold as easy. And I'm okay if it's got a little bit of creases in the in the fold. I, the, I don't mind that at all. So, and then we fold. Uh-oh. I might have to trim a little bit of that off. Or, yeah, I'm going to have to trim a little bit of that off. But it'll still be a pretty edge. Because it's, it's just went... Because I've got that extra piece on there, I didn't fold it in far enough. So it's it's not meeting up with that fold as well now. So let me just cut a piece off real quick. Okay, that's better. How are y'all today, by the way? Did I ask y'all that? I can't remember if I asked y'all that or not. But if I didn't ask y'all that, how are you today? I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day wherever you are. I hope you're having a good time. Okay, so we are, and thank y'all so much for joining me in this series. I so appreciate y'all being here. All right, so that's, that's our fold. So we have the whole inside complete. So now we just got to do the back side, and we'll be ready to put our pages in. Okay, so I'm going to just flip it over, and we're just going to start, because this side's, um, it's going to be pretty easy because we're just going to go all the way across. Other than this, we'll have to, um, we'll collage around our pretty little angel here. So, we'll have to take that into account. But otherwise, it's going to be fairly easy. Okay, so I've picked some papers that I think I want to go with this. But remember we said we wanted the angel, this angel. I wanted her right here. So we're still going to put her here. So we're just going to do a little bit of collage around it or whatever. Um, so I'm going to sit that up there. But I think I would like this right here. And I'm going to scoot it up a little. And I think I'm going to tear it right here. Because I don't want it to be covered up by my angel. Um, I don't want this part to be covered up by my angel. Because I love this part. And I think I might use it over here. So... We're just going to tear it and put it over there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to glue this down. Okay. And I'm going to rough the edges up of my paper here at the top a little bit. Since it's kind of straight across, I don't want it to be perfect. So we're just going to slide this right up there like that. 
and I've just kind of got got it glued in the middle so that I can decide if I want things to go underneath it um, but I can go ahead and glue this the rest of the way down over here because of course nothing's gonna go underneath there and then I'll put a little bit of extra glue up there in a minute but I just want to decide what I want to go down here so I've picked some things let's just pull them over here I picked some pieces that I thought would be fun to play with on this page that would be pretty right there I kind of like that but I also want to incorporate some pinks because we don't have a whole lot of pinks yet and I wanted this to be pink and green <laughs> all right so if we put that there now this is from a different one of Heather's I think it might be somebody else's but I think it's Heather's but it's not a Christmas kit um, but I'm just kind of laying stuff down just to kind of get an eye of what I want it to look like. And I think I actually would like to tear this and put something else right here. Maybe this. Okay, so we'll have our angel right here. And we need something up here. Maybe I'll put this up here. No, I don't like those screens together. Let me see what else I've got. Bear with me, y'all. Maybe I'll use this piece up there. All right, let me just scoot these over to the side. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to get an idea of what I want it to look like. And I think I kind of like that. So I think we'll be good to go with it to be like that. So, <laughs> now we got to tear everything and get it laid down. Where are we on our time? Oh, Lord. I'm going to have to hurry. Um, okay. So, y'all kind of see how I've got it laid out. So, I'm going to glue. I'm going to pause it and glue everything down. And then I'll come back. And that way, we can finish. We'll have enough time to finish. Hang on for me. Okay. So, I've got it all glued down. And now we're ready to finish this part over here. I went ahead and glued this too. Because I know that that's where I want that to go. And so we just need to collage around our little picture here. So I think I would like some music right here. So I have this piece of music that I thought would look good here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue right down through here. And I'm just going to come to the very edge of this picture here so that she's kind of highlighted. And we're going to just put that down. And then I want to tear around my little pink flower here a little bit. I just kind of want to open it, it, open it up a little bit more. So it can be seen a little better. Like that. Alright. And then I think up here I want some pink. So I have this, um, which is from Heather's. And I think this is the same thing I have on the front, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So I kind of want to just put this right, right across here. So I know this looks weird the way I'm doing it, but you'll understand it in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just glue right across here. And then I'm going to tear it the way I want it to tear. So I think I want this here. Like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that glue down. And then I think I want. I'm going to turn it over. 
I hope I've been in frame this whole time. I've not even paid it. I'm real bad about that, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I hope I've been in frame. I'm so sorry if I haven't. Lord of mercy. Okay, so we're just going to fold this down up here and kind of tear it off. Lord, now I'm worried that my video is not going to be right. I'm going to be so upset if it's messed up. All right, so we're just going to tear across the top right here. I guess it would help if I would go straight with it instead of tearing it crooked. Crazy. Lord of mercy. Okay. And then, over here, I kind of want it... To kind of go at an angle and then what I'm doing is I'm tearing it around her picture okay so let's see I'm just gonna hold my finger right here at the top of her picture and that way I know how far up I don't need to tear okay just like that all right so I've got her picture covered or uncovered and then I've got to decide over here where I want this to come from. And I think I want it to come from about right here. I am not trying to make this difficult, y'all. But I'm, I fear that I am. That is not in my intent. Okay. And then I'm just going to You'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. Okay, I'm just going to tear that off right there. All right. Now, see, it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but I have a solution. So, this is going to... I'm just going to go ahead and glue this part down because I know I want that there. Okay. This part... I'm going to pack that down right there because now that I've tore this off too far up to where it don't cover the music I need something underneath there okay and I think I want some embossed paper but that's not going to be big enough I need a bigger piece look if I see if I've got any big enough in my little scrap bin here I don't think I do. So let's find one. And you know what? Let's maybe use cream instead of white. I like the cream. What do y'all think? Or should we do pink? Ooh. Oh, I think I like the pink. Let's do the pink. That's pretty. Okay. Well, so that makes that a happy accident, right? Okay, so I'm just going to tear my um, embossed paper all the way across and get me a piece that I can work with, and then I can slide this up under here. Now, I don't want this straight edge. I do not like a straight edge, so we'll get rid of that. Now, if I slide that right up under there, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. I really like that. And then if we come from right here, I like that. Okay. I think this video is going to go just a little bit longer than yesterday's. I apologize. I try to do this fast, but, you know, it's hard to do it fast, especially when, you, when you're creating. So, hopefully y'all are okay with a little bit longer of a video. I know it's hard sometimes to sit down and watch a long video, so that's why I try to keep them short. But sometimes it's just not feasible. Okay. We'll put that right there. I'm going to have to work on my glue because he's getting a little bit stopped up. Let me work on it. 
and then I want to add the rest of what's going to go here. So I think I want to add this right up under here. Whoops. Okay, so I'm just going to slide that up under there. If it'll let me. Stop it. Oops. I've probably stuck my hair in the camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. And then we'll just glue that down with a little art glitter glue. Okay, and then I have, where'd it go? I have this pretty little image with the birds that I'd like to go on here. Where are we on our time? Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's way long. I'm sorry. I'm hurrying. Hopefully it won't be too much of a deterrent. Okay, yes, I like that, and that goes over that way far enough. All right, so we're just going to, let me get rid of the edges. Okay, and then we've got, um, I think I want this piece here with the pretty birds, and then I think I want this piece to kind of slide right up under here. Okay, so we have our cover finished. I put the last couple of pieces on, and then we can just fold it up and get it right. <laughs> and you may have to go back and glue some pieces that stick up, and that's okay. But we just fold it up, and there's the front of our piece. There's your pocket. It folds out. I love how he decorated it, and then I love how she's right here with the red roses. How pretty is that? And then you have the pink roses, and then that's the inside of your back flip-flop journal, or the back of your flip-flop journal. So I think we're going to end it here today since I've gone way over long, so I apologize to y'all for that, but um, we'll come back, and... Um, I don't know if we'll go ahead and do the front of this and this, or sometimes I leave the very front till the very last, uh, just because um, I want to see what the inside turns out looking like, and then I kind of decorate it accordingly. So I'm not sure. We'll either come back and do the cover, or we'll come back and we'll start working on picking our pages and putting them in the journal. So hopefully it wasn't too long for y'all. Thank y'all for hanging in here with me, whoever uh, if you're still here, <laughs> thank you. And um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Big hugs.